Nisha Chanani, she's Commodity Analyst, Capital Markets at Edelweiss, and she joins us live on the show. Nisha, hi, welcome. What's your sense coming in for the precious metals now? I mean, we have seen huge run-up. Today seems to be their consolidation. What's, what's your expectation? Uh, hello Manisha. Yes, we have seen that gold and silver prices have seen a good run-up. Gold has risen around 9% in last uh, one month and silver has risen around 20% in last one month. This is all because of speculation in the market uh, of injection of liquidity by various central banks, US and ECB. So I think this uh, run-up will continue for next two days till we have a Fed meeting on Thursday and some concrete uh, stimulus comes in. So I think there is some uh, little more upside room and I would suggest to uh, buy gold uh, around 32,000 with the stop loss of 31,900 and target of 32,200 on the higher side. And uh, silver is also looking good. If it sustains about $34 at COMEX, uh, it would go up to $35 or 35.5. So at MCX, I would recommend to buy silver around uh, 64,200 with the stop loss of 63,800 and target of 65,000 in one or two days. Renisha, we saw a couple of uh, sessions of a strong gains coming in for the base metal prices. Today is a day of decline, but do you think the prices had run up too much too soon and it could do with some bit of a decline today? Yes, I think base metal prices have run up uh, very fast and uh, basically the fundamentals are not so strong. Uh, the prices uh, were rising because of the speculation of QE, as I said before. But uh, as the uh, Chinese data which has come in from last two days, it suggests that there is a, a weak demand in China, which is the largest consumer of base metals. And also, we have seen that there are lots, uh, lots of uh, surplus and uh, stock price, uh, stockpiles in the warehouses. And there is a huge inventory in the warehouse. So there is less demand and lots of inventories are lying in the warehouses. So I think prices would correct from here. For copper, I would recommend to sell around uh, 452 levels with the stop loss of 455. And targets would be around uh, 449 and 448 on the downside. Just enough time, Ranisha, to get in quick strategy on crude as well from you for today. Crude is trading in range of $94 to $98 from last 15-20 trading sessions and I think this is a consolidation phase to see a run up further. If prices sustain above $98, it could go up to $100 and $102 further. So at MCX, I would recommend for intraday traders to buy crude oil around 53.50 with the stop loss of 53.10 and uh, the targets would be 5400 and 5410 on the higher side. All right, Ranisha, we'll let you go at that. Appreciate your time joining us. So those are the cues coming in from Edelweiss on all of those commodities. A sell on copper, but buy on most of those other commodities there.